Because testing is a thing that I do, that's my specialization is testing. I get asked by uh, homeowners and clients of mine all the time, hey, what tools should I own in order to do some of the testing that I might not be able to find somebody locally to do? And by the way, don't feel bad. I literally have people all over the country in big cities, in rural areas, complain that they can't find people who can specialize in this stuff. I've been working on this for a while. I have a mastermind course and that group is growing. Um, if you know people who you think might belong in there, please send them our way. What I have done here is build a shopping cart at my favorite place to shop for diagnostic tools, which is True Tech Tools. The reason that I go to these guys is that they have great uh, customer support. You can call them and you can say, hey, I'm looking for this. I want to be able to do this. What tool do you think would be best for me? And they know all about these tools. The primary longtime owner, Bill Spone, has been on our channel a bunch of times. Um, he invented tools. His name is on the patent of tools. So they sell all kinds of different things. I have made a shopping cart full of the things that I think are useful, um, like immediately useful and long time useful and will not go out of style. So the first thing on the list is the DG8 uh, single channel manometer. I actually ran a blower door test with this recently. So this thing is not configured to run a blower door test. A blower door test is a measure of pressure and flow. You need two channels to do that, or you can just unplug and plug and replug in, and you have to be pretty sophisticated to do that. So we've got a positive and a negative terminal on this, just one channel. You can see the readout right here. This thing boots up super fast, and you can change to inches to water column instead, and you get three digits, so to the thousandths place in inches to water column and to the tenths place in pascals. Uh, there's a couple different things you're going to want to use. You're going to have to have a pressure hose. This comes with the DGA. So one hose and one pressure sensor, and you can do all kinds of zonal pressure testing of your HVAC system. You don't need a blower to test for that. I'm linking a video on screen now to demonstrate how that works. Um, you could test the whole home depressurization with respect to outside. And that's very useful if you've got exhaust uh, appliances, bath fans, fireplaces, wood stoves, things like that to know what's that doing to your house. Um, the second thing on this list here is a magnetic static pressure tip. So you can see this thing is uh, curved. The feature that it has that's most important is that it will cancel out pressure that's going around the tip in a turbulent fashion. You can barely see them, but there are these two pinholes right there along the shaft before the pointy aerodynamic head. The idea is you point that into the airflow. I have, in my experience, doesn't matter what direction that air that head is pointing because of this evening out of the two holes on one side, two holes on the other side it takes kind of an average. Okay, so 14 bucks, and that'll enable you to do static pressure testing. You want that because this hose is a total pressure probe. We don't want to know what the turbulence going across this probe is doing. We want to know what the pressure, the static pressure only is. And so this will subtract for that. Next thing in line is a Retrotech flow box. This is one box that can do two very useful things. This one is $320. Frankly, if you don't want to spend the money, I describe in my book, which you can preview online for free. Um, and I'm linking that right now on the screen. Um, but it's two things. It is a pressure pan, which is just a box that's completely sealed up that you hook a pressure probe to. That's this little yellow thing that you can see right there. That's a pressure tap inside the box so that you could put that over things that don't have a door and do a zonal pressure test on them. So ducts, uh, interior wall cavities, which you access by putting you going to an outlet plate and you cover it up with the pressure pan while you're doing a blower door test. If you don't have a blower door running, this is a little bit less useful as a pressure pan. But the other thing that this does is turn into a calibrated flow meter only in uh, exhaust mode. So basically what you do with this is, is measure exhaust flows of your bath fans. And that's something we're going to have a video forthcoming about. If you're not using uh, this, which is the cheapest option, then the next cheapest thing is like a piece of tissue paper, which is not a number. It's just like, is it sucking at all or is it not? So if all you need to know is yes or no, is it sucking? Then piece of tissue paper will work technically. But if you want to actually have a number, for the CFM to verify that the bath fan that was installed in your home or that you installed for a client actually is blowing the amount that it says it's blowing on the sticker, which anybody can see. This is how you do that. So again, you know, you can make this if you want to, and that would be uh, explained in the uh, in the book. 
Next thing in line doesn't have to do with pressures. Now we're talking about temperature and humidity. I have shown um, how you would use hobo data loggers uh, to measure the temperature and uh, humidity as it goes across time, right? Because you don't want to just look at this and say, oh, it's 77.9 degrees right now. I want to know what it does overnight or over the course of a week or whatever. I'm linking a video on screen now about how to use these to really prove things like thermal mass and um, how the HVAC system is working and things like that. There's, there's really no end to what you can start doing with tools once you start practicing with them and letting your imagination start to, to, to go. Um, X-Tech is a pretty good, it's, it's, I would say pretty good brand. Honestly, the Hobo data logger that I would recommend to you over this one, TrueTech doesn't sell Hobos, um, is like 150 bucks instead of 173, but X-Tech is owned by FLIR. And, um, so it's like, they try to take it seriously and they've got customer service and things like that. Okay. Next in line is infrared camera. So FLIR, who I just mentioned, is, um, very nice. But this is Hike K Micro or Hike Micro. I'm not sure how we say it. This is a Chinese company. This is where Chinese scale comes in handy because this thing is not only the same cost, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the FLIR C5, which these guys also sell. You can look at the specs on their website and don't just take my word for it. This thing is 256 by 192 uh, pixels. That means it's got an array in it of infrared thermometers that are 256 across and 192 deep. That's almost 50,000 infrared thermometers built into this thing right here. That resolution alone is why you buy this and not the FLIR version. Because the FLIR only has 19,200 sensors in it. Um, so this thing is two and a half times better than the FLIR version that's the same price or even more expensive. Uh, I have used this plenty. You don't need it to do a lot of special stuff. You're carrying this around a construction site. And once you get to the point, if you're a professional and you buy this for 600 bucks, you will keep this because at some point you're going to buy a $5,000 infrared camera. So you compete on my level where I'm carrying on a $5,000 camera. You're carrying around a $600 camera. I win if we have an argument period. Like there's no discussion. Uh, if you have a $5,000 camera, you give this to your client to walk around the house with so that they can have an infrared camera of their own. And they get so excited. Like, it's really amazing. So this is not going to, you're not going to like get tired of this and get rid of it later. If you're a professional and if you're a homeowner, you can use that on insulation installs on HVAC. You can find duct leakage inside of walls. You can do moisture detection, all this stuff that would cost you hundreds of dollars to have a consultant like me come out and do for you. So I think that it definitely makes its money worth. The last thing on my list here, is 150 bucks. And this is an Air Things Wave Plus. I have a lot of monitors in my house that I use to uh, to monitor things like particulate, VOCs, carbon dioxide. And this one is the one that I trust the most when I use it in my own home. So this monitor is radon on top of all those other things. And it data logs as well. So it's basically a data logger for 150 bucks that lives in your house that does carbon dioxide, particulates, it doesn't do particulates, excuse me, but does do TVOC. It does temperature, humidity. Um, and the radon thing is really important because like, as we build homes more airtight, the radon map that you'll see online of like, Ooh, where are we worried about radon? It's meaningless. It doesn't, don't ever take that seriously because it was taken in 1993. The way homes were built back then has nothing to do with the way homes are built today. They're much more airtight because of codes. So think about that. I really like that because you can just wave at it and it gives you a green and it says, yay, everything is happy. Now, this uh, shopping cart is full of $1,800 worth of stuff. You do not need all of this. Depending on what you want to be able to find out, you could just pick one thing. And, and the two big things that I think are very useful, aside from the data logger for temperature and humidity, which by the way, if you don't want, if you're going to be more manual about it and you're just going to look at it every hour, set a timer on your phone, go every hour and look at it, you could build your own little data log graph of an hourly, uh, you know, uh, tracking. And for that, you could use a $20 hygrometer that you buy at, you know, a home improvement shop. But as far as testing pressures, the reason you pay the $600 is that the $100 manometers are not nearly precise enough to be able to do accurate home performance pressures that we need, which are down in Pascals, not inches of water column like the HVAC guys use. The reason that we get the, the infrared camera, is it like, I mean, a picture's worth a thousand words. 
And you can, you know, this thing is just, it's very useful to have also pocket size. I can carry it around with me. And if you're a professional and you want to get better at, at any tool use at all, you get things that fit in your pockets and then you carry them with you and you just go out into the world um, and use them and just like, see what happens. Just run your life like a research project when you're on the job. Don't forget to take time off from all this stuff. So I hope that this has been interesting for you. Thank you very much to uh, those of you who asked for this uh, little list. I hope that this is um, proves productive. Let me know if you like get them and you start finding things. I had one of our Patreon members actually buy that DG8 and immediately find out that his bedroom, his master bedroom was at 30 Pascal's pressurization when he did the zonal pressure test, which is the most outrageous number I have ever seen. And like, I've never found that number in real life. So you're all out there. <laughs> you are an army of people who can do this testing on your own homes and on the homes of your neighbors and your family. And I think that that's a very beautiful thing. So let's start testing. Comment, like, subscribe, tune in next time. Mm -hmm.